Steve, we're here at Wellsbourne at your uh, headquarters. We're in front of your new Vulcan lathe. And there's an interesting application on, on and in this machine that you've done recently, working in conjunction with Hypermill. Can you explain what it is? Um, so this is a feature called Max Turning. Um, and basically what that does is it gives a, a full engagement of the, of the tool. So if a, if a tool is generally just moving in a linear motion and got a load of, of 40% as an example, it would retain that. Um, where the max turning feature comes in, for any pockets or valleys or shoulders um, where normally it would be taking smaller depths of cut, the software recalculates the feeds and speeds and depth of cut to retain an optimum bottom cutting strategy. Okay, so it will go faster when it can go faster, but if it needs to slow down, it will slow down. It's a yeah. bit like a, I suppose, acceleration and deceleration in a yeah. car around a track yeah. in a like sense, a Tesla. isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but if you were going around a track and there's lots of corners, it would know exactly how to take that corner in the most optimum way. Yes, yes, so it, again, it, it traverses back and forth. So the demonstration that we've got here, um, we've put a nice conical feature in there. So um, just to demonstrate how the software recalculates and actually traverses forwards and back, back Backwards, um, to optimise the, the, the cutting, cutting process. Now I'm told up to 40% cycle time reductions potentially on some parts and maybe more. Um, with respect, the TC200 from Vulcan is one of your entry level machines. Yeah. Some people might associate Hypermill as software that really you only get the best out of in a, on, a, on a Nakamura or a, a premium machine, but you're proving otherwise here, aren't you? It's a good combination. Well, definitely, you know, the, the, um, as a as a turnkey provider with Nakamura, customer or, customers are always looking to reduce, reduce costs. And that, that Travis is all the way down to entry level machine. That, that customer taking a commodity machine, meaning that machine in a component will have, still have a cost. If we can help reduce that cost and take cost out of the component, then th th this better for the customer. But the machine and the hardware is capable of still being driven by the software. So even with something like here, the Fanuc series OITF control, I'm, I'm thinking, well, you need lots of processing power, processing speed, um, but you can still do what we're saying with this control and an entry-level machine, just improving the offering of the hardware. Yeah, yeah exactly. I mean, the, the, the benefit that Hypermill adds to an entry-level machine, it, it just moves it on to that, to that next level for the customer. So there could be a situation which arises where someone's offering a, a far more expensive machine um, but actually, with the addition of Hypermill, this machine will still perform as well, if not outperform, that more expensive investment. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's why Hypermill is attractive to us for this particular um, environment, really. We always focus on cost per part. So the cost per part comes from how, how quick we can get the component out of the machine. And that, that shouldn't stop. Um, a high-end machine, it will surely be considered for, for entry level. And you're so impressed with it, you've now become a reseller. Yeah, yeah, so we signed up agreement with, uh, with Open Mind and we, we have a lot of applications. We've done a lot of work with them within the last 12 months, not just on turning, um, but on five axis milling with, with Quasar and Chiron. So um, there's some synergy benefits between, between both parties. So we look forward to the, to the future with them.